This is it, folks. The steaks you've been dreaming of. Monster thick ribeyes, dry brined, and grilled using a unique two step cooking process reverse searing and cold grate grilling. Step number one dry brining. Now, dry brining is a fancy way of saying season the steaks with coarse sea salt. But instead of grilling the steaks right away, you're going to return them to the refrigerator. What happens is the salt will draw the juices out of the steak, flavoring the meat, of course, and those juices will be reabsorbed, actually brining the meat. Dry brine the steaks for as little as one hour or as long as overnight. Obviously, the longer the dry brine, the richer the flavor. Meanwhile, make the anchovy crema. Place the heavy cream, garlic, and anchovies in a saucepan and simmer over medium heat until thick, 10 to 15 minutes. Puree the mixture and return it to the pan. Whisk in butter and lots of freshly ground black pepper. Keep warm over low heat, but do not let it boil. Now, reverse searing is a fancy way of saying indirect grilling at a low temperature. To cook the steaks, I'm using the ABC Slow and Sear with Easy Spin Grate. Take your coals and dump them into this charcoal corral. Then fill this water reservoir. This creates a moist environment, which is so essential for smoking the steaks. Place the grill grate in the grill. Now for the steaks. Here are your dry brine steaks. You can see the meat has absorbed the salt. Blot off any excess moisture. Then generously season the steaks with coarsely ground black pepper. Arrange the ribeyes on the grate away from the fire. You want to reverse sear the steaks to an internal temperature of about 110 degrees. So how do we do that? We insert the probes of a remote instant read thermometer in the side of the meat through the center. And then finally, we have a probe that clips to the grill grate. And this will tell us the internal temperature of the grill. Now the last step is to put the wood chunks on the coals Close the lid of the grill. Adjust the vent to obtain a temperature of 250 degrees. The display panel gives me a clear readout of the internal temperature of each steak and the temperature of the grill. You want to cook the ribeyes to an internal temperature of 110 degrees. That will take about one hour. OK, it's been an hour these ribeyes. You can see they're beautifully bronzed with wood smoke. Internal temperature is 110 degrees. What you want to do now is pull out the probes and transfer the steaks to a wire rack. Brush each steak on both sides with extra virgin olive oil. This will help give you a nice sear. Turn the steaks over. Add the coals to our charcoal corral. Close the grate. Here's the key to cold grate grilling. I can actually put my hand on the grill grate. Arrange the steaks on the cool section of the grill. And then spin the grate so it's over this hot section. The idea here is you don't want to put on grill marks. You want to get a complete even sear. It's been just about a minute, and we'll spin the steaks. The flare-ups die down, and now we'll turn the steaks, and they go on to the cold section of the grill again. Wow. So again, do the sear. We'll turn the steaks over. The ribeyes sure look done, but just spin them to the cool side. And then, as always, I like to check the ribeye. 135, it's a perfect medium rare.
take a stake. And then we'll carve the stake. You see you have a beautiful rosy color, evenly cooked from top to bottom. And here is your anchovy cream sauce. And then we can sprinkle with some chopped fresh chives. Now the moment I've been waiting for. Mm. What's really interesting here is the smoke flavor. This is a steak that in effect is smoked as well as grilled. Great beefy flavor, nice crust on the outside, moist inside. Mmm, that salty umami flavor from the anchovies goes great with steak. Now you know the secret to a perfect ribeye. Dry brine it, reverse sear it with wood smoke, and grill it on a cold grate. Mmm. <laughs>